So I'm just doing some more anatomy research here and I'm noting that uh, on top in the heart is the aorta. I'm, I'm looking for father ones plus one and the superior vena cava are both plus one for father in the heart. Um, aorta starts and ends with ones. It's like the superior vena cava is plus one. And of course the heart is the last five letters of father, very obvious. And so it would behoove us to uh, see what he's ordained. And so what's on top? Oh, the aorta. So why not add the letter the, and now you have a flawless design for father. The aorta is exactly 30 points higher than father. And the number of plus twos exceeds the number of plus ones by exactly a count of two, just like it does in father. And then there's two letters that divide by three, just like in father. So father is glaringly declared by the letters the aorta. <laughs> so there's your the, of course, there's your a, excuse me. And then um, your two letters that divide by three are um, uh, balanced out by the additional um, TA21. So what's on the end here is precisely uh, love. So there's the center of father right at the front of the aorta. And then, um, of course, you spell the word heart with the aorta, H-E-R-T, um, and then it ends in love divides by six, just like the outskirts, very obvious. Father takes the glory for the aorta. <laughs> That's the topmost uh, artery and the largest um, in the heart. Hey, this is good stuff, and you can solve the human heart in detail, okay, because you just add more uh, sixes in front of heart, which is on the end of father, letter for letter, just like the word earth, okay. So the human heart is, is a lovely 142, which is father plus 42 plus 42, because father is 42 points less than 100, and 142 is 42 points higher, so it's very glaring. Father, the human heart. Um, so we solved the superior vena cava and the aorta plus one for father. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> we can go home now. We solved it with the highest and the biggest <laughs> for father. Um, of course, chest is plus one for father. Um, left, I'm the left is plus one, just like the word last, and atrium. The atrium is on top, that's another interesting find, um, because atrium is plus one, and they are indeed on top of the heart, so why don't we get the word atrium in there, why don't we, um, well, atrium is plus 24 from father, let's stick the word that in front, um, Atrium. <laughs> Sweet. Um, let's see if we can get some more. And then I was looking at parts of the human eye. And God saves the best for last. And notice that the word retina is flawless for father, just like optic nerve. Okay, the word nerve all by itself is flawless for father, okay? And then um, the, uh, the word nerve is flawless for father. Optic divides by three, so that maintains perfect offset. So optic nerve, which is the center thing that guides it out, the electrical impulses. Electrical impulses is plus one. Optic nerve is plus one. Retina is flawless for father, like letter for letter. The three plus two is the one plus one. The other two divide by three in retina and the word nerve. Okay, um, and uh, my, my, my. So cool. So cornea is Christ, iris is father, anterior chamber, region between. That's a lovely uh, Christ Father combo, anterior chamber, region between the cornea and the iris, which is phenomenal to me because watch this, watch the Christ Father combos in this whole thing. Cornea is Christ plus iris, Father, and together you have that the anterior chamber, which is another Christ Father combo. So you put these suckers together and you get a gorgeous three fest. It's always pretty beautiful, the three fest that comes out, like very glaring, 150, with all sorts of inter interleaves there. Cornea plus the iris. 
minus 21 followed by minus 3. That's silly. And a very famous thing about how iris points to father is the famous IS. Remember how kiss equals father and IS is at the dead center? ISs are very famous for father. Okay, you can take the IS on the end or you can take the IS on the bookends to equal the TH at the center of father. And then you got these two letters that divide by 3 push out to equal those two letters that divide by 3. And then the AE add a double 3 in center. Okay, so father is emphatically declared by the word iris. And then cornea is flawless for Christ with 3 plus 2s, 2 plus 1s in a single, or 2 plus 2s. Cornea is beautiful. You've got the three threes, followed by the two twos, um, followed by the one one. <laughs> and Christ is built in the same way. So Christ plus Father, one 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 combo. So you can knit together all the parts of the eye and get this gorgeous like harmony. Um, and then if you put the lens and the pupil together, you have a similar sort of dance. Uh, the yields plus one. You can solve and knit them all together in posterior chamber and all that. But we're starting with the obvious, okay? Start with the obvious, and then it's like any puzzle that you put together. You put the, the most obvious pieces together first, and then you finish the job. Um, ooh, okay, so we solved the aorta. We solved the superior vena cava. <laughs> we solved atrium. <laughs> we solved the aorta. Um, all right, the pulmonary. Oh my gosh, it's all coming back to me now. Um, the pulmonary valve. Ooh, there. I, I knew that was going to be uh, the septum of the heart. That is the center point, isn't it? Uh, Um, I think it's the dividing. You know, seeing as the word father declares the word hearts, it would make sense that heart anatomy would be pretty fun to solve for father. And so um, we're that's where we're researching right now. Um, and it is not disappointing. So septum is glaring as father plus the famous 36 offset. Six times six. Lovely six letters. There's a wall. Yeah, I think it's the the dividing wall. Yeah. It separates the left and right atria of the heart and also the wall that separates the left and right ventricles of the heart. Pretty major. Okay. Um I'm curious as to what these suckers are. Plus one and plus two, that makes three threes, but septum is the last word there. I'm always curious as to um, if you can find father exactly, and that love is right on the end. I don't remember that, is that one. 40 at the beginning, you have to pop off. 36, oh man, you can get a flawless father um, in septum, just in perfect symmetry right there, just like reminds me of the word wings where you can get father and perfectly perfect symmetry on the bookends. Okay. So remember, God is surrounded by a cherubim uh, in the holy you know, throne room, and they, they fly with wings. Okay, so wings is glaring for father. You have the father flanking in symmetry right there, and so we see the exact same design in uh, septum, which is the uh, dividing wall down the center of your heart. Like, pay attention to anything that's at the center. Father will be all over that, <laughs> because he's at the center of the universe. Like, God the Father is at the center of all the worship in heaven and everything in the entire universe. So, when we go to the human heart and we discover that the septum is at the center of the human heart, not surprisingly, Father has this name pegged from eternity past, and he ordained it to be exactly what it is. Um, so, there's your, your Father, and then your plus your 36 at the center. If I was to switch to a monotype font, it would be even more, you know... Um, Stunning. Very uh, beautiful. And then you can piece that apart even more. Like, this is really glaring, actually, because the SC equals the FR in father, the U equals the AT, and then the M equals the EH. Like, you can split that into a lovely three teams. Just bang, bang. Now, I'll just go red for simplicity's sake. Bang, bang. Okay, septum, father. 
Um, and 36 is one of the most gorgeous, famous offsets from Father, being 6 times 6 and offsets of 6 are my favorite, so that did not disappoint. So the center of your heart is called the septum. <laughs> Bang! Father. Good. Wonderful. All right. What else do you find? We solve the aorta. Um, let's crack. Did I, did I close that document? Um, oh, I meant to go back. That's what I wanted. Or, no, I, I didn't. Um, um, oh, somehow this. Oh, no, it was right here. Um, Oh yeah, cardiac muscle. Well, muscle is father and cardiac divides by three. So cardiac muscle works for father. In fact, it's a lovely love father. So we just solved cardiac muscle to the glory of the father. I'm here to say, well, and we solved all muscle. So muscle is flawless for father. It equals number in six letters. We solved muscle a million times. Um, like muscle is just embarrassing for father, like how easy this is. So why don't we just review by way of review, father owns every muscle and every nerve. Um, nerve is very easy. Um, both of them are very easy, but I will just point out some super glories in um, muscle. Uh, the bookends make a multiple of six in both words, differing by six. The next two letters make um, make multiple, like divide by three. UL is 33, and then at the center of the TH differs from the SC by six exactly. And uh, so there's your flawless Trinity glorifying muscle experience for father. And then since cardiac divides by three, like I said, cardiac muscle is flaws for father. But what the, what the gorgeous thing is, is it actually ends up adding to um, uh, love father. It's father plus love. Two of the greatest words in the universe. So cardiac muscle equals love father, the greatest commandment. Done. <laughs> now, if you spend more time poking into cardiac muscle, you can see even more. Um, like, you can find the love and you can find the father. Um, in fact, it's very easy to find father in muscle. Just pop off 15 points. Done. <laughs> There's your father, the rest equals love. Um, and if you take even more time, you can discover like really cool things, I'm sure of it, by um, always check what's near the center. God loves to hide really cool gems in the dead center of things. Um, and you can do that for homework. Okay. Alright, so we solved for cardiac muscle and all muscles and all nerves, um, or chambered, um, with a right atrium and ventricle. Right, ventricles double love, atrium is on top, this one. Anatomic center, left atrium, left ventricle. So, <laughs> oh boy. Um, uh, okay. Alright, the blood flows from the systematic veins into the right atrium. Right, so the blood, the blue blood from your diagram in grade school, the blue blood comes, <laughs> comes from the systemic veins into the right atrium, thence to the right ventricle. Now I knew that the left was going to be last. And God has been speaking to me about the word left. Okay, God saves the best for last. Like, the word left parallels the word last. Um, last equals 52, both parallel father, and, and they both have the LT, um, I am just plain marveling at this, people. And so they differ by nine because of the center points there. But the left side of your heart is technically, well, depending on which way you look at it, so let's just keep, uh, then it's the right, which is pumped to the lungs. Well, lungs is plus one, just like father. Oh yeah, the blood flows through the right atrium, then to the right ventricle from which it is pumped to the lungs. So how does lungs compare to heart again? Oh yeah, lungs equals number. But these are all plus one for father. And remember heart is on the end of father, letter for letter, 52. So okay, okay, well, what else? And then what happens? Then returned unto the left atrium, thence to the left ventricle from which it is driven into the systemic arteries. Right. Um, and the final piece, the systemic arteries, is plus one. And the left ventricle is the final piece, is plus one. <laughs> because of the word left, which is a marvel to me. Because ventricle equals double love, divides by three. And then, so when you say the left ventricle, it's just a gorgeous set of letters to point to father. God saves the, the left. And from what I understand, the left ventricle, is it not the strongest part of the heart? Because it has to... Um, pump the hardest, like it has the most muscle around it because it has to really pump the blood uh, the hardest, from what I understand. Um, but I am here to marvel with you at how the left ventricle is just stunning for father. 
in that you have this giant pearl necklace of plus twos uh, and a single plus one. To me, that is, that is the nail in the coffin for me. That is the miracle of all time that you have so many letters in the left ventricle, but just like in father, only one of them is plus one. Okay, and then you have, uh, so how many plus twos do you have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, amazing. So you have one plus one, you have nine plus twos, a triple of what you have in father, and then how many letters divide by three? Um, one, two, wow, amazing, absolutely amazing. I couldn't have ordered anything better. Look at this. Father has one plus one. It has three plus twos. And then it has two letters that divide by three. Amazing. So that is a miracle. Okay. Father gets the last word. He saves the best for last. So the left ventricle is flawless for father. And from what I understand, it is the strongest, most powerful, um, like it's the, it's the strongest chamber in the heart because it gets the most pressure from the final pump out of the heart. So again, the... the um, the, the plus ones are one in number in both of these strings. Um, this was so cool. This is the obvious thing, is that the plus twos were three in father and then nine in this set of letters. Now, if you left off the the, it would be six, which is also a multiple of three. And then the number of plus twos also tripled, like the number of, or the number of letters that divide by three also tripled, like the number of letters that are plus two. So very perfect parallelism between father and the left ventricle. <laughs> And, uh, ah, yeah, because the right ventricle pumps it to the lungs under low pressure. And then the left heart, consisting of the left atrium, which receives oxygenated blood from the lungs, and the left ventricle, which is the big father chamber, which pumps it out to the body under high pressure. Everybody say high pressure. Everybody say it's the king chamber. Everybody say God saves the best for last. And that left ventricle is what pumps all the good blood to your entire body. Oh yeah, I could feel the blood flow. Okay, so the left ventricle is the strongest portion of the heart. And I marvel that it was stunning for father. Yeah, it's longer, it's bigger than the right, and... Oh my goodness. Of course the word pressure is father. That is amazing. How profound. How profound the major parts of the human heart. Wow. The aorta. Such a flawless set of letters for father, plus one. Yeah, the left ventricle has thicker walls because it needs to, it needs to um, pump blood to most of the body while the right ventricle fills only the lungs. Wow. Oh yeah, then you have the valves in there. A cleaner diagram might be more pleasing. Oh man. I'm I'm quick to solve the obvious. Blue plus red is flawless for father, um, and we solve this for the colors of Christmas, okay? Because green provides the offset, but blue and red are a famous set of blue is father, red divides by three. When you put the two together, it's just uh, embarrassingly perfect because you get the three plus twos, a single plus one, and the rest of the letters divide by three, just like in father, okay? And in fact. Um, the word father is on the very front of the famous blue plus red. You just need to pop off nine points, okay? So, um, or you can, it's, you can take the ED on the end of both words and get father, okay? But when you're looking at the human body, 
in any discussion of the blood and the circulatory system, blue and red are the colors that are staring you in the face. <laughs> yeah, I love. Okay. So we solve the aorta, father. We solve the superior vena cava plus one. How about these guys? Hmm. <laughs> We solve the septum in the middle for father. How about this, these guys? Oy, caramba. Uh, brachiocephalic. I'll just check the offset. So we're plus one, plus two. That's going to be plus two. It's going to be plus two. No, it's even. That's going to be three. And then... And this is going to be this one, three as well. Interesting. Hmm. Pulmonary. I know it starts by three. It's so arteries. It's plus two in the end. So that's interesting. Oh, the valves. So many lunar valves. Oh, there's so many of them. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well, that's cool. The inferior vena cava also works nicely. Um, it also yields a plus one. I've preached on this one before. Uh, superior vena cava was 190, and this is 163, plus one for father. And tricuspid plus two. Tricuspid valve with yield of plus one. Whether you call it that or that, that's interesting. That yields a plus one. The atrioventricular valve, also known as the tricuspid valve, is plus one altogether. The word valve is flawless and it's designed for Jesus. Um, now this is the mitral. Hmm. But they're both called atrioventricular. Which makes sense because they bind, they, they are the gates between the atrium and the ventricles, atrioventricular valve. <laughs> oh, but they're, oh, I see tricuspid and mitral. And then a semilunar. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, so there's some plus ones in there. I would need to get a mitral and tricuspid. I like the fact that the dead center is the septum. All right, we did some. Eh? Okay, I think we hit it. And then we were scooping up a little more details in the eye. I think we did a pretty good job there. All right, well, we got some famous human anatomy uh, terms there. Solved. What other? And I think I'm feeling pretty satisfied at this point. Hey, sweet, we just got the, uploaded the video of the Ark of the Covenant and famous mountains like Sinai and Everest solved in the Most Holy. It's now live on the channel. And, uh, continuation of that. Very cool. Glory to God. Um, I might just leave it running for a little bit. Oh, we got a crash in Google. Pretty typical. <laughs> I always consider it a compliment when I crash a computer. Because of having too much stuff going on. And it died. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back after this.